الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله it's important for us to be thankful and grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the many many blessings that he tabarak wa ta'ala bestows upon us and all throughout the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, mention the fada'il, you know, the benefits of being thankful and grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remind us about the importance of remembering him and making dhikr and make us conscious and encourage us these texts these divine texts encourage us to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone which is to heed and to supplicate to him subhanahu wa ta'ala alone which is a part of to heed to heed uh, ibadah or to heed al-uluhiyah as it is known and this is very very important because there are many that are in the ummah that don't they may have a sincerity in wanting to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they don't have the tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Instead, they worship the graves, they worship the saints, they worship their sheikhs, they worship uh, others with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they don't even regard it as worship. They are deceived by the shaitan. But the issue at hand I wanted to talk about I wanted us to read just a little bit from Imam Anawi, rahimahullah ta'ala, his chapter in Riyadh al-Salihin, uh, entitled Kitab, Alhamdulillah ta'ala wa shukruhu. It is the book in Riyadh al-Salihin, which is t entitled, or is titled as the praise of belongs to Allah the Almighty and thanking Him. And he begins by saying, Bab Fadlul Hamd wa Shukr, the chapter of the benefits of the benefit of uh, Alhamd, the praising of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa Shukr, and the thankfulness or gratefulness to Allah Azza wa Jal. So the Imam begins with the ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى فَاذْكُرْنِي أَذْكُرُكُمْ وَاشْكُرُوا لِي وَلَا تَكْفُرُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 152, He subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَاذْكُرْنِي أَذْكُرُكُمْ Remember me, and I will remember you. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remember his servant as long as his servant remembers him, tabarak wa ta'ala. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us to remember him. So it lets us know, as we've talked about many times, al-amr yufid al-wujub, that when there's a command in the shara, in the, in the kitab or the sunnah, that the asl of that command is that it's an obligation to fulfill. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَذْكُرْنِي أَذْكُرُكُمْ وَشْكُرُوا لِي وَلَا تَكْفُرُونَ And give thanks to me. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding again. It's a command to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَلَا تَكْفُرُونَ And do not be ungrateful. So it can be interpreted as, as ungrateful, I believe, in this context. And kufr is one of the greatest ways to show, or is the greatest way to show ungratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by worshiping other than him or worshiping someone alongside of or something alongside of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to share an ibadah with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is kufr. And this is uh, showing ingratitude because it is violating the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As we've mentioned many times, for example, the hadith 
of Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala where he was riding on a donkey with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said, uh, and, and the Prophet sallallahu said, Ya Mu'adh, tadri ma haqqallahu ali ibadi wa ma haqqallahu ibadi ala Allah. He said, O oh, Mu'adh, do you know the right of Allah over his servant? And do you know the right of the servant over Allah? And then Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, Allah wa rasulu wa alam. He said, Allah and his messenger know best. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Haqqallahu ali ibadi wa ya'buduhu wa la yushriku bi shayin. So the Prophet said, the right of Allah upon a servant is that he worships him and him alone. And the right of the servant upon Allah is that Allah will not punish him if he worships him and him alone. So this shows us that this is the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you show kufr or you show ingratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is a type of kufr. And of course, the <coughs> kufr al-akbar <coughs> is that which takes a person out of the fold of Islam. Then Imam Anawi mentioned another ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لِأُزِيدَنَّكُمْ And this is Surah Al-Ibrahim, Surah Ibrahim, verse 7, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that if you... Uh, you know, are grateful, then we then uh, then we will uh, increase you. So look at this. So that lets us know, as the ulama make clear, and, and we're going to get to hopefully if we if the time permits. They mention that in the meaning of this ayah, that by thanking Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase you. So it's like a cycle. It's a cycle of ni'am. It's a cycle of benefit and 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 great and 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 reward and uh blessings. Why? Because if you thank Allah and you show gratefulness to him, he is pleased with you and he will increase you, as he subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran by saying, La in shakartum. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase your ni'am. He will increase your blessings. And then Imam Anawah, he also meant, he said, وَقَالَ تَعَالَى وَقُلِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ He mentioned where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Isra, verse 111, and say, so here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding, and say, Commanding the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to say, uh, "Alhamdulillah, all praise belongs to Allah. All the praise belongs to Allah subhanahu wa taala." If we remember that Allah, for one, this is Tawheed. This is actualizing Tawheed by praising Allah subhanahu wa taala on our tongue and realizing that Allah subhanahu wa taala. All the praise belongs to him and he is perfect, tabarak wa ta'ala, in his divine names and attributes, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that he and he alone should be worshipped. And that he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the Lord and the creator and the uh, planner of all things, tabarak wa ta'ala. Wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir, and he is over all things omnipotent, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that if we make ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we give our affairs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, bless us, and we will be in the best, uh, the best position. Because if you leave your affairs with Allah, you give real tawakkal ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the ulama mentioned, a tawakkal ala Allah huwa, it uh, It is relying solely on Allah and making effort to attain what you're trying to attain. The shahid or the point of mentioning that is letting us know that what? Tawakkul is ibadah and it's ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And it's a way to show your gratefulness and your thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the tawakkul is going to be in your heart. 
that you're putting your affairs, you're putting the result with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're trying to attain, attain something. You're trying to uh, get your risk increase. You're trying to start a business. You're trying to get married. All of this, you're making efforts. You're making efforts by starting the business. You're making efforts by looking for work. You're making efforts by joining websites or talking to people or whatever you need to do to try to get married or talking to your family if you have a Muslim family or whatever the case may be. You're making effort and you're putting your trust totally solely with Allah Azza wa Jal. And then Imam Anawwi rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, wa qala ta'ala, wa akhru da'wana da'wahum in alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Uh, is the ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah, uh, uh, Surah Yunus, verse 10, and uh, the last uh, supplication of ours is that all the praise belongs to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Rabbil Alameen. And so Alhamd, it is realizing and uh, believing and praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on your tongue realizing that he subhanahu wa ta'ala is perfect and freeing him from anything which is unbefitting from him or for him subhanahu wa ta'ala that this is hum this is one of the definitions of alhamd that the ulama mentioned and a shukr this gratefulness, it is showing the blessings of Allah and acknowledging them in the heart, on the tongue, and on the limbs. And in one of the examples, and then we'll end there, for example, the one who Allah is favored with wealth. And this individual spends his wealth. He realizes it that it's from Allah. And he says, this ni'mah is from Allah. It's not from me. I made effort, but then the ni'am, the blessing, it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he spends his wealth in the halal for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is showing a shukr. He is showing real gratefulness to Allah because he's spending in the halal, doing that, which Allah will increase. So this is an investment for him. It's an investment in his dunya wal akhirah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Rabbana atana fi dunya hasan wa fil akhirati hasan wa qina dhaban nar wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.